then the journal settings you can first see preferences so it's all up to your preference what kind of currency setup you want you want your currency format or time zone time format you can simply do it from here like this okay we have various kinds of time zones here various kinds of currency okay now you can also set up distance unit configure city if you want to configure the city you can switch on this and you're good to go now moving to the customer rating if you want to enable the to enable by enabling this to allow restaurant to wait customer after the restaurant restaurant completes the or their order if you want to hide customer details from the restaurant you can also do it from here if you want to show customer profile to the restaurant you simply need to enable this uh, it's, we have all these information over here uh, preferences for you to do so and uh, if you want to create a tags you can also do it from here as well like you need to simply need to click on the add tag and you need to write it down the tag name and click on the add your tag will be created over here now moving to the terminology in the terminology section you can select your language as per your preference like we have so many languages over here or more than 20 languages okay <clears throat> and then moving to the orders uh, it's all up to you as well you need to write it down the order place settings like when or whenever an order is placed with their message will be order placed successfully whenever the store is closed or everything else you can do it from here and the terminology settings over here as well cart agent ordered everything you can do it from here and you need to click on the save button your terminology settings will be done okay and now moving to the notification if you want to uh, enable the notification or disable the notification as per your preference you can also do it from here as well okay now first of all moving to the notification sounds uh, if you want to enable this notification sounds as per your preference you need a beep sound graceful sound siren sound it's all up to you now moving to the admin merchant notification so if you need to set up the admin merchant notification you like uh, whenever an order is placed at the admin and the merchant will be notified via email or sms uh, you can also do it from here in the action section you can also edit any notification from here as well as you can see uh, you can create your own search attack and uh, you can create your sms over here or email notification everything you simply need to click on the update your notification will be updated as per your preference now you can also whenever an order is cancelled or a payment done schedule order reminder everything can be done off over here so if you need uh, to set up reminder for an unaccepted orders you need to switch on the toggle and you push notification call notification everything will be done from here as well now moving to the customer notifications in the customer notifications whenever an order is placed by an customers it will be informed by email or sms whenever a payment done by the customers it will be informed by a sms okay and whenever any order placed or, or any order dispatched or any order is on the takeaway or delivered rejected cancelled or scheduled order reminder it can be done from here as well you just you can done it from here okay so this is all about the general settings of the yellow dashboard